Shadow Trade and Tourism Minister Kevin Hogan. Kevin, thank you for your time. Is Penny Wong's visit to China a real turning point for Australia's relationship with Beijing? Well, I think it's good news and it's a good development because, you know, they are, we sell over a third of everything we sell around the world, over a third of our exports go to China. They've been an important trading partner. Obviously, the relationship has been through a bit of a frosty time where they had that wolf warrior diplomacy. So, look, we want to maintain our sovereignty. We are a separate country. They are a separate country. We need to respect each other's differences as well as the trading relationship that we have. But, look, it's a good development. We want to get access back to those markets and I think the visit this week has been a good thing. How quickly do you expect there will be relief on trade sanctions? Well, look, we want them to happen now. I mean, we believe that the trade sanctions that um, China put on us, the anti-dumping things that they did put on us through the WTO are illegal and um, we think they're unfounded. The WTO does have its own processes whereby it will go through and make a ruling on this but look, we think they were done for other reasons. I mean, we saw the 14 things that China put on us a few years ago that they said we needed to do um, to get back to normalised relationships. They're unacceptable to us as a previous government. They're unacceptable to the Labor government which is good um, and I think China have realised that. Um, I think it's in the best interest of both China and us that the relationship goes back to the trading relationship that it was. But look, that decision's the Chinese. I mean, we always wanted to keep talking to them. We always wanted to keep trading with them and they made this decision. So it's their decision to, re to, to start to relax that and I hope it's sooner rather than later. Mm. The uh, party state masthead China Daily cautioned Canberra to learn the lessons of the coalition government and warned against this anti-China rhetoric. Uh, what do you make of that report? Well, look, we don't think it's necessarily anti-China anti rhetoric. I mean, we need to respect each other's differences. I mean, we are going to agree on a lot of things and we're going to disagree on some things. And when we disagree, we need to be big enough as, as trading partners and to be neighbours and to be, have good trading relations to, to say, look, we disagree on that, but we'll keep our relationship normal in other areas. So, look, I think that's where China's getting. That's where we always were. We, we always wanted to keep trading. We always wanted to keep an open dialogue. I mean, the best thing you can have if a relationship has a problem, whether it be personal, business or nation to nation, the most important thing I think you need to do and Australia always wanted to do was keep talking um, and keep talking about the issues that we agree on and that we disagree on. So the fact that that dialogue has opened up, albeit smally, um, I think is a good thing. We can start talking about the things that we want to do together and the things that we have issues with and keep talking about that stuff. OK, let's talk about the Liberal Party. This review has found that the Liberal Party is not fit for purpose. How has it reached this point? Well, look, I make the point I'm not a member of the Liberal Party, so I'll couch that in the... You know, I don't necessarily like to talk about the internal ramifications or workings of the Liberal Party, given I'm not a member of the Liberal Party. But, look, we are in coalition with them. I always refer to them as our city cousins. But, um, look, they obviously... We lost... The coalition lost an election. The Liberal Party um, had losses in seats that they never thought they would. And from what I've re read of the, of the findings, I mean, they have internal Liberal Party dysfunctionality, some le things at the branch levels and at the pre-selection levels levels um, and there's certain characters and factions within that that have hindered that process. So I think it's a good review. I think the Liberal Party's doing a good job to have a look at it and to look at everything that's working and not working within their structure and they're saying they're going to act on this and I think that's a good thing because we as a country, believe you me, and I think as a national certainly want a highly functional Liberal Party and that's what they're working towards. Should faction members be expelled for feuding? Well, look, again, the Liberal Party will look at that, but, you know, they've made the allegation within what I understand the studies looked at, and there's certain people who hindered the pre-selection process, there's certain people, you know, who have who did things that weren't good for the party and therefore the government of the day, and I think if they expel those people, then that will be their choice, but if they've been very disruptive, it's probably a good thing. Just finally, Kevin Hogan, a cap on the price of gas to deal with the rising energy costs has come into effect. Do you have any concerns about the gas industry? Massive. Um, I think Labor, with you know what the industry have said, a Soviet tyre regulations have really thrown a dice here. And I think Labor, with they're now putting in question thirty-two billion dollars worth of investment. I mean, register that thirty-two billion dollars worth of investment in our country is now at risk and may not go ahead. And that's all in keeping the lights on um, and making sure our power bills stay lower. So if that if that if that if that reg in investment is pulled back, I mean our lights will go out and certainly the power bills. Are 
going up anyway and they'll go up even higher. So I think what Labor did last week was very dangerous. I think they've thrown the question of our whole energy market um, into question. It's been a very dangerous thing they've done. Kevin Hogan, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.